And this big thing. Next up, is it just me? Are you dressed as Popeye? Girl, I am Popeye. I always eat spinach, and I'm strong to the finish. Just don't tell me you're looking for olive oil. Who no, too messy. <gasps> Miss Dixon, I forgot to tell you I'm going on a sea cruise. I believe cruise is the operative word here. It's on the real live love boat, Miss Dixon. You like for the television show? Oh, tell Stooby hello for me. Tell him Dixie misses a little Captain Hook. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dixon, can Stooby not have no hook? You just have to know where to look. Oh, <laughs> oh Miss Dixon, you're just too nasty. I know. The medication. I went to Mishima's this morning to have my ankles reboned, but I only had time for the anesthesia. Oh, oh well, be a doll and play in our special guest, the incorrigibly cuddly Rodney Dangerfield. Oh! Thank you, honey. Nice being here, you know. Oh. Hey, Dixie, let me ask you something. Did you ever work for an escort service from Pittsburgh? No, that was my twin sister, Glynis, but anything is possible if the price is right. Oh. Oh. Please, sit. Oh. Oh. Ah. Rodney, in your movies, you're so vulgar and boorish. I love that in a man. You know what I like in a woman? No. Me. Ah! Ah! Easily arranged, my comedic Casanova. Oh, I can do all right here if I play my cards wrong. Rodney, you keep me on my toes. And good, I hope you like the new position. <laughs> Well, please stop, Miss Dixon, because between you and Rodney, I've had my fill of rim shots. I'm sure you haven't, Dexter. <laughs> Rodney, have you ever had plastic surgery? No, but my wife, my wife, she got plastic surgery. Oh. Yeah, I cut up her credit cards. Oh. <laughs> my wife, you know, the other day she told me she needs $5,000. All her mother's teeth have to come out. I told her, I'll give you $10,000, take her tongue out. Oh. <laughs> Rodney, you are such a little daredevil. Oh, I'm so glad you two have hit it off. Of course, Dexter has a soft spot for older men. Well, maybe soft spot isn't exactly the right term. <laughs> oh. Oh. I love that guy, you kidding? <laughs> I got a cousin who's gay. When he went to London, he was so disappointed. He found out Big Ben was a clock. <laughs> Big Ben is a clock! 